Ever wondered how to tie the perfect all-location ghillie? Well, here's a chance to learn. Now don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos. This is the ghillie and it's from the Africa women. They do tie it on occasionally. Yes, some person tie it, but some person tie the back or the front. To me, I love tying the front. I think that's where the beauty lies. Like. Hi all, welcome. Today I'm very excited to introduce you to one and only Eagle Gilly. He's very talented at his art. He's a makeup artist and also a specialist in Gilly tying. Introduce yourself, Mr. Eagle. Okay, good day, viewers are there. I'm Eagle Kuo Onyomi. Actually, I'm from Delta States. But I do the wrong up thing like child from one place to the other. But I'm um, for the gilly thing, okay. Um good in tiny gilly. Diapers as makeup. Mm, I just see myself in it. So why have you been in, La in Lagos this past few days? Uh I actually came to Lagos to do a workshop like youth empowerment. So tell us more about that. Oh well, you when you go through it you see so so kind like so many gilly of different types. Like the double gilly, the single gilly, the Yoruba gilly, um, I think some other celebrity gilly. Okay, great. So as part of his project, he uses his gilly artistry and makeup artistry to give back to the community. Isn't that wonderful? We're very, very happy to have you here today and uh, we're very fortunate to be able to learn from him today as well. And he ties this beautiful gilly here. But you, how do you feel about the gilly? I feel great, I feel really pretty. I feel like my wedding, I can be, I'm ready to get married or something. So let's watch Eagle tie gilly. He starts by creating the pleats in front of the headgear. This he calls printing. I'm starting from the printing. I will take, because here is the rough edge of the gilly. I have to take it deep. I have to take it deep and start my printing. So he begins by printing one end of the gilly and then he starts to print the middle section which lays flat against the forehead. So he carefully prints this, folding each section using both hands, making sure that the prints are even and they lay flat. Creating the front face or foundation, he begins to prepare the long extension for printing. This is going to go over the first face. So the process of printing clearly takes a bit of patience and carefulness. Notice that he first prints a section, then holds it down, and then moves to the next section to continue printing. This helps this stay firmly against the head. After creating the print in front, hold it down to keep it secure, and then divide the remaining portion and loosely print it. At this point, you need to tie the gilly. So collect the section that the model is holding and then tie it to the section that you're holding. Make sure it's tied right at the back of the head. So you need to tie it very firmly but make sure the model is not uncomfortable. So the printing never stops now does it? Anyway, so for the remaining portion of the front part, you need to carefully print it, creating a very rounded shape around the head. Make sure the top middle is the highest point and the sides are lower. This gives it a very desirable shape. So after 
printing, you need to tie the remaining loose end to the rest of the gilet. So tie it towards the back of the head. And make sure it's very firm and secure. Time to add your finishing touches. So arrange your pleats to your satisfaction, moving section by section. So finally, you need to tuck in the rest of the loose gilet at the back around the ponytail and make sure you secure it nicely with a pin. So this you must watch. So Igor had such an amazing personality, I just had to sit down and have a chat with him. Enjoy. I know you at Igor Gilly. What is your name? Okay, I'm Igor Ofonomi. It's very unusual to see a guy that's so great at his art as you are. So um, what exactly inspired you to become a Gilly and makeup artist? I actually came into a game like two years ago. That was 2012. Okay. Yeah, I have sisters. I think we are like nine in number, six boys and three girls. Though my sister, all of them are so pretty. But I find it difficult when I wake up in the morning, I saw my sister like, wow, you are so beautiful. Though they don't wear makeup because of our Christian, whatever. But to me, I think I'm a makeup type. Oh, okay. Because let me come in. I'm actually a model, like two, three years ago. I meet so many pretty girls on the runway, which sometimes I keep asking myself, ah, you go, these girls, their eyebrow is fine, their makeup is fine. That's really what, that's what really boosts me to come into me. So you actually started out training models? Yes, I've been doing modeling for like three years plus with West End Modeling Agency. Okay, so how did you get into makeup artistry and getting Did you actually go to school? Okay, it's, I would say it's all about the creative ability. I see people doing it. I have an auntie that always, that always do it again whenever she's going to a French job. Sometimes I watch her like, Auntie, I love your makeup. I love the gale. So she had to like, like encourage me to like go and learn makeup. And I see people, I see models on the wrong way doing makeup that is very pretty. I ask them, I love your eyebrow. Like your eyebrow. I love it. Okay. I love the eyeshadow. I love the lip. So one of these days I just sit a friend down and I said, okay, let me draw. Let me just draw the pencil. I drew it and she liked it. I was like, this is a plus. As one the guillotine, one of the other speak the gilly, like, let me just go through it, go through it. Then you know, it's very big. But the person I tied on her head, she was like, Ego, you need to take this 200 now. For the money to involve the plus. Okay, so so that was the first job you ever got. It's That's not a project. job, like it's my friend. Okay, but then that was the first pay you ever got as yeah. a makeup artist and as a guillotine. Yeah. Okay, great. So what is the industry like in where Delta K okay. where is it? Uh, in Delta State, I believe everybody is a makeup artist okay. presently. For me, every, you have to create a stand. So I'm trying to create a stand like I don't want to work with people in the worry, like in my area, because they believe if they can draw the pencil, they're all makeup artists. If they can do the lip, they're makeup they can just tie a gilly. They are a gilly person or a gilly tire. No. I, to me, I dream of it. I see it in every art of my day-to-day -day activities that I must do it. So I think I'm different from them. What sets you apart in your art? Set me apart? Yes, in your art of gilly tie and makeup artistry. How would I see your work and say that is Ego Gilly's work? Ah, ego Gilly. Yeah, I take time to do my work. Okay. Like I say, when you use when you use your time well, you achieve something. I don't just like pick it and just wrap it on someone's head. I take my time, I print. I do more of printing than using excess of pin. I believe a friend of mine in Wari used like 30 pin or 20 pin in one gilly. Even the two gilly, it's like ego. How can you tie two gilly with just 10 pin? I said no. I can tie two gilly with 10 pin. He said no, in itself can tie two gilly with 80 pin, which means it's taking one hand with pin, the other hand with pin as well. So me, I don't do that. Though we are working together, I'm trying to put him through. At least I go. He must have been this my best friend. Okay, 
Yes. You mean the single girl? Yes, the single I think five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. And then the double? The double, I think 15-20 minutes. That's great, you're great at your art. And so what would you advise people like you? For instance, this industry is obviously very female dominated. There are very few guys in the industry and um, I'm sure that a lot of people ask you the same question. How did you get to the industry? How and why? Okay, I will say thank you to that question because okay. there's one of these days I was in, I was with a friend, I'm tiny gilly. A man just drove by like, how can a guy tiny gilly on a woman's head? I be fool. I can't use, I can't throw a word. I think the lady themselves have to talk to the guy that he's far better than a million at the day. See, that is big news. And to the other side of it, I will say my fellow Nigerians, my fellow youths at large, whatever you are doing, just have passion in it. No passion, no day. When I mean day, no talk. Because I keep on doing Ikele, I keep on doing makeup for free. I believe my first bridal job is like a little pain. I need to buy Mary Kay. Mary Kay said, this is my boss. I need to buy Mary Kay 1000 or something. But today I have a very big boss full of makeup. And my family today are very proud. So you are there that is watching. Just be comfortable to yourself. Let me say one word. I feel like two years ago, early two years ago, my dad started like those boys that are pushing truck. Wake up, go and push truck. Or those boys that are selling pure water. Wake up, go and sell pure water. I was just like, oh, this is how I'm going to end. Okay, let me just go to the street and like keep on picking or uh, pocket picking, what they call it. I have to realize myself, I have to start off somewhere. And after then, I'm, why my sister is using that word? Because I have a daughter, she's so dear to me, who will take the responsibility of her. When a day, like in the morning, you don't have nothing to do, you can't put food on the table. You see, you receive insults here and there. But today, they are so proud that my brother traveled from Lagos to Abuja, what I called Bini, here and there. They are always calling me to know where I am. And I believe like two days ago, my sister called me like, please, I want to go out to come and try and do my makeup. I'm like, ah, <laughs> I never travel for another day find me. <laughs> I just mentioned that you have a daughter. Yeah. So, are you married or are you single? Um, let me don't shock out. I'm not yet married. Okay. But I'm not single okay. because we are engaged. But we did it for like five years now. Okay, great. How old is your daughter? She's four years plus. Oh, that's and I'm still expecting on that one. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so, where do you see yourself um, down the line in makeup artistry and game design? How do I see myself? Like, where do you aspire to be in maybe five years? Oh, five years. I love that. I believe I attended one August forum with Tara. I was the first guy that stood up like, in 10 years from now, what do you see yourself? Let me just say, in five years from now, where I will be, I will wish I will touch so many lives. Even if it's not, if not true money, but true, I, if I'm going to a makeup job, for example, I carry like 10 people along, trying to impart something with them. If not for the money thing, impart knowledge, share common idea. The makeup we are talking about is common idea. Very, very common. Teach people. I, I believe the street thing will be reduced. Okay. I believe there are so many boys in my area that smoke people. India, marijuana, yeah. I take them along. Let us go. And they actually go with you? They actually go. I use Have them. I, I use them to carry my makeup. But when they are carrying the makeup, they're like, I'm the boss. I'll say, Yes, I'm the boy. <laughs> they are the boss. <laughs> So have you been able to convert an ego smoker into a makeup artist to an artist? Like I said, nobody, nobody is perfect. Yeah. I just, I'm trying to like do it. You're trying to do it? Yes. Okay. But you haven't been able to convert one of them? Many. In my year. Okay, that's great. That's, that's really great. But sometimes great. I just give them money so they don't got, be, got beats me carrying my back for it. <laughs> That's great. It's been so, so much fun talking to you and having you here in our studio. And we're always welcome here. And um, we'd love you to use some of the camouflage makeup arts uh, products. So, on uh, behalf of the Switch Cosmetics team, we're going to be giving you some of our products. And we hope you wow. like them. Yeah, let me see first. <laughs> <laughs> all right then. No, I love makeup. So, yeah. anyone you give me, I will work with it. Okay, all right, great. I know, we, we know you love our products. So. Alright, so on behalf of us here, I would like to present this to you. I hope you like it. It's a value of about 
40,000 naira. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what is inside. Yes, I love the pack. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> so this is amazing! <laughs> I'm really dying to have this. <laughs> oh, this is HD cream to Jesus. Do you know what this cost? <laughs> ah, now we have an influenced look of makeover. Oh. I can't wait to apply this on someone's face. Can you see it again? Jesus. From um, Swiss Pot Betis. You guys are wonder, wonder. You guys are. Wow! <laughs> Lipstick of different shades. I mean, different shades of human. Oh, Jesus, I love this. Thank you very much. Thank oh, you. Oh, I will come here again and again and again and again. And one would have to say, better is not good enough, but the best of us is here to come. I believe next year I'm coming here. You'll be very big, it's full of products. I let me say I'm sure of words. Oh, that's really great. better days are coming. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Wow, so many, so many inside. Jesus. Wow, this is another. Mm. This is lovely. I call this banana. What is it called? It's an HD powder. HD powder. Wow. Man, I can't wait. Wow, this is. I can use a little glamour. But yeah, I mean, as a makeup artist, to like use all this to get something. But oh, these things are too much for me. It's too much. I'll keep on loving makeup. Yeah. I'll keep on keep tiny again. So they need to be in the world. <laughs> no, but I'll keep on doing it. Thank you. But you are tired there. I want to say thank you to you all for making it possible for me to stand. I know it's not about my part, but like ego gimme, you you are you are you no it's not me, it's God Almighty. In everything you are doing, always put God first. Thank you very much. Thank you for me to stand with you. Thank you. You are assisting with it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Everybody, man, see, don't beef me. At all. God has blessed me. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to show appreciation to Jehovah. God, you are too much. Thank you, everybody. Check it, check. Damn, my 